Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's a beautiful day outside. As you can hear, I'm guessing there's birds. Ah, birds and frogs and all kinds of things making wonderful music. Uh, good to see you all. Hope that you're doing well. Uh, today I want to talk about salvation. To do that, I wanted to ask you, how you been today? Have you been good? Did you do anything that you shouldn't have done? I know I do things that I ought not do all the time. Everybody does. So here's the question. What if you do a lot of good things will, that will be, say you do even more good things than you do bad things? Is that good enough for God? The scriptures tell us that that is not good enough for God because the scriptures say that what if you say that you went your whole life and you didn't commit any crimes, but then you stole something. Is that a crime? Well, yeah, of course that's a crime. You stole something and so you're guilty of breaking the law. And the punishment for breaking the law in that case might be to go to prison. Now, you might say if you were getting ready to be taken to prison, oh, but I didn't, I didn't kill somebody. But that doesn't change. You're guilty of breaking the law, right? And so even though the guy who kills somebody, his punishment is to go to prison. And your punishment is to go to prison. The same is true when we break God's law, by the way. You can say, well, I, I could have done something worse. I mean, you know, there's really bad people in the world. I'm obviously not one of those. I do a lot of good things. But here's the deal. God didn't come to forgive just the worst of the sins. He didn't send his son to die to just to heal horrible sins. He sent his son to die because all sin means that we're guilty. It doesn't matter if it's a little sin or a big sin. We're guilty of breaking his law. And so our punishment must come. The difference is for Christians is that Jesus died because he took that punishment for us. And so in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9, Paul tells us this. He says, it's by grace that we have been saved through faith, not by works, not by doing good and hoping that it works out, but by grace we've been saved. Grace means that God gave us something that we didn't deserve, something we didn't earn, something that it doesn't matter if you were mostly good or even if you were mostly bad. It's irrelevant because God is the one who paid for it, because God is the one who gives that gift. It's by grace you have been saved, through believing, through faith, and not by your own works, and so none of us can boast and say, see, I've been good enough and I've earned God. I've earned his favor. I've earned his salvation. Nope, none of us can earn that. It doesn't even matter if you're mostly good all the time. It's not good enough. It's not good enough because if you're mostly good all the time, that means what? It means you're not good sometimes. I think most of us can admit we're not good all the time. We do bad things. We do things we shouldn't do. And that means we're guilty. But you know what? Good news. It's not by our being good all the time that we're saved. We're not saved by that. We're saved by grace. We're saved because God says, I love you anyway. Hey, make sure you watch Buck Denver this week. He's going to be talking all about all that, all about salvation and how we're saved by grace through faith, not by works. Uh, until next time, you have a wonderful week, and thank God for your salvation.